Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are well and good. Alhamdulillah. All thanks and all praise to due to the Creator Allah. Uh, another uh, motivated Muslim podcast. Let's begin. So, a quick summary from the previous podcast. You see, Islam is nothing new, and if you are not an agnostic, borderline atheist, or even if you are, you need to understand that man or a woman did not create themselves we did not create ourselves this is because the big bang expansion began 13.7 billion years ago and mankind was around the children of adam peace be upon adam was around give or take maybe 500,000 years ago or 800,000 years ago and so it is you know impossible to know what actually happened 13.7 billion years ago and I get I understand the theory the cosmic background radiation and all that and What I'm trying to say is that we don't need science to get to know the Creator Allah because the Creator Allah is a fact. This is because you have to have someone who is uncreated and supernatural to begin the creation, to begin the the creation um, so also uh, zero times one equals zero let me say that again zero times one equals zero which proves that you cannot have something from nothing so similarly as the creator Allah created and caused the Big Bang with the quantum field, electrons, neutrons, and photons, and so forth. Therefore, similarly, the Creator Allah created Adam. Peace be upon Adam. Now, you see, this is very important to understand. You have to have someone who is uncreated, supernatural, and extremely powerful to begin creation. And if someone for argument's sake and only for uh, example, which would be illogical anyway, say there is no creator, then in that case, there should be absolutely nothing but that is not the case and I have talked about this in my previous podcast now the creator Allah told Adam to worship the creator Allah be grateful to the one and only creator and do good deeds listen to himself Adam in this case as as he was also a prophet and a messenger and or prophet and or messenger to himself and his children later on and grandchildren later on and so forth 
basically without going into details it is a person's negative nature arrogance is one of them which can and has led to innovation since the time of Adam peace be upon Adam throughout up to today just to clear what Islam is all about amongst many other positive factors is to listen to the messenger and a prophet of your time and worship the one true God which is the creator Allah Allah means the one who deserves all worship however because of innovation most of the children of Adam have fall into polytheism and especially nowadays agnosticism bordering atheism innovation has led the children of Adam into misguidance and therefore into darkness this is why we the Muslim scholars see many other religions in practice such as Hinduism, Buddhism, Atheism, Darwinism and so forth. The Creator Allah has given all of the children of Adam peace be upon Adam, a job. The Creator has given all of us a job since Adam, alayhi wa sallam. So from prophet to prophet, from messenger to messenger, the central message remained the same which is worship the Creator Allah only because only the Creator Allah is worthy of worship. What is it like to be an agnostic borderline atheist? Agnostics and atheists have problem with submitting their free will to the Creator Allah. This is the main reason the illogical excuses they use through illogical philosophies such as Darwinian, Dawkin, Krauss, uh, illogical evolutionary and illogical philosophical theories are just a disguise, uh, disguise not to submit their will to the Creator Allah so they can be free but the thing is freedom from the Creator Allah is not possible because we have needs. Why Islam and not Jesus like the Christians believe? Why Islam and not the statues of Hindus, Ganesh, Kalima, Ram Krishna questions one may ask to a Muslim. Firstly, Jesus, peace be upon him, was not a God, was never a God. He was a good man and a prophet of God, uh, a prophet of the Creator Allah. As for Hindu statues, worshipping idols, nor will, be, nor will it benefit no harm but importantly to Allah to the creator Allah it is shirk associating partner with the creator Allah is a major sin a sin which is shirk that is not forgiven unless one is still alive on earth 
and repents sincerely, understands Tawheed, the oneness, and that is, there is only the Creator Allah, one Creator who created the entire existence, the cosmos, the limited multiverse, the atoms, the neutrons, the electrons, the entire existence. You see, associating partner with the Creator Allah is a big sin, and long as you, uh, long as you, whoever you are, basically living a non-Muslim life, if you become a Muslim, a Sunni Muslim, meaning Quran and Sunnah, if you become a, a more about Sunni uh, Muslim. You can uh, check out uh, Muhammad Hijab's YouTube video regarding Sunni Muslim. Uh, why I say Sunni Muslim? Because uh, Shia Muslim is problematic and so also in Ahmadiyya uh, Muslim is problematic. So Sunni Muslim. So long as you are alive and you become alive and breathing on inside earth and you become a Sunni Muslim and you experience death, experience death as as a Sunni Muslim, then inshallah with the Creator Allah's permission one day you will enter paradise.